Rosa Young was a impoverished black lady. She came from a slave family, and one of her ambitions was to become educated herself. And once she became educated, then she had this goal of educating her people. Rosie Young showed such tenacity. And it took all of that tenacity for her to start the schools and to begin what is now Concordia College. And I think that still shows there. She wanted to be of service to her people, but because the world has changed so much, that service now extends beyond our people to all people. We have students from all over the United States and students from 11 different countries. That makes Concordia College Alabama as a unique higher ed learning institution. Because we're all God's people. We're all God's creation. That's been the focus all along. Although my father had only eighth grade education, my mother completed third grade. They uh, instilled into their 10 children the importance of education. And I pass it on to the students here at Concordia to do the same thing. Our students are unique. We try to get them to understand that if you will take advantage of what Concordia has to offer, you can become prepared no one really looked at me, mainly because of my grades and stuff. And Concordia gave me a second chance, and I came here, played football, studied, and uh, now I'm back on track. The kids everywhere, they're all smart. The problem is the teachers don't teach them the facts, the tools that they need. But it's never too late. And I think there's a good mission here to help those kids. I feel blessed that I am in an opportunity to help students be successful. I just feel that's the greatest reward of all. To see a student's uh, face light up, that's a, a reward itself to me. And I'm getting emotional because it is, it is a passion. I treat them as my own kids. My name is Trent Askew. I'm from Uniontown, Alabama, which is about 20 minutes away from Concordia. The only thing we're really known for in your town is basketball and church. I remember when I was in high school and we got ready to graduate. And I went to my counselor and she told me that I was not college material. And she said that I should take a job at the factory because I should not apply to any colleges because I would not make it. I believed her. We don't have money, so, and at that point in time, I kind of gave up, and I was thinking, like, I just need to just get a job, you know, be realistic, you know. Dr. McNair Ramsey, he was uh, the pastor at Emmanuel Lutheran Church, and he said, hey, he said, are you in college? And I said, no, sir, I never even thought about college. And he said, you ever heard of Concordia? And when I came here, I met Coach Hodges, and he kind of took a tour around the school, I like you know, I, I think I'm, I'm meant to be here. Deciding to come to Concordia allowed me to stay close to home for my grandmother and grandfather so I can help them with anything if, if they need anything. That's how I got interested in what education really was all about. You know, it wasn't just about books and stuff. It was about somebody caring enough and seeing something in you and wanted you to be your best. I can look at the kids in my classroom and tell them, it does not matter where you started. It does not matter. That does not have to be where you end up. But that's what I've learned from coming to Concordia. I did not believe in myself. Not until I started here. And I want to instill that in somebody else's child.
Sometimes I question myself, Lord, why he in Selma? I feel it's called, he called me to this place. It is not the typical HBCU. It's not the typical historically black college and university that you assume it is. It's a small place, rich and filled with history. And I like the atmosphere. I like the, the being around where I know there's a divine God around the place. It's, it's wonderful. At the end of the day, really what matters and a Christian calling and vocation is serving the Lord and serving His people. And that's all uh, we are here about. We provide education in a nurturing situation. How many other places or how many other institutions do that? They care. They not only say, we care about our students, they prove it. The teachers here, they really interact with the students. They'll help you or find people that will willing to help you. These teachers are not just mere teachers. Really, these teachers are good community and leadership builders. When I think of Concordia College, Alabama, there's so many wonderful things about it, but one of the greatest things from my perspective is the dedication, tenacity, and perseverance of the faculty. And I think you still see that heart of Rosie Young in the campus today. Everybody has a dream, and people want to pursue it, whether it's for athletics or academics. Concordia is really, you know, your way of pursuing the dream. Concordia is the perfect school to prepare you for the rest of your life. We have a great band, we have a great football team, we have great athletics, we have, it's beyond that. And I believe that our church, Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, has an opportunity at Concordia College. If an individual is a graduate of Concordia College, goes back to their community and serves their family, church, and community, in the way that they are trained at Concordia College. They'll make a difference in the future generations. There are great needs at Concordia, and we believe that through this campaign, a time to build with scholarships, renovation, new buildings, a new soccer field, that we can garner the interest of even more students and help them become the first in their families to complete a college education. By donors stepping up, they are filling that gap and we are reaching out with that help, with the mission of the Lord, that our students get the benefit. We don't just give our time, we give our money back to this institution because we believe in it. What comes from my check each month, I don't regret and I don't give grudgingly. I give believing that that money will be used for the purpose for which we, Concordia College Alabama, stands, which is to provide this Christ-centered education.